Hello everyone, this is Mr. Earhart. I'm going to be talking about integrating quotes, so working quotes into your writing. Um, that's the subject of this video. So just some quick basic stuff. Um, what is integrating a quote? Working it into your writing so that it's clear that you're moving from your ideas into the reader, into the quotation. Um, why do you have to do it? Because if you don't, the reader of your writing isn't going to know what's happening when the quote is occurring. Context matters. Um, here's an example, a quotation that says, go ahead and take it. I don't know what the word it is in regards to. I don't know who is offering this. I don't know how it's being offered. Is it an invitation? Like someone is saying, go ahead, take it. Um, or is it a threat? Go ahead, take it, then see what happens. I dare you. Right. Is this person irritated, panicked, generous, defeated? I don't know anything about the situation in which the quote occurs. That's why you need to integrate a quote so that you can smoothly move from your ideas into the context of what's happening and into the quote itself. These are the two sample quotations that we're going to be using for this video and the other parts of the video. So I'll read them without context, and you'll see that they sound lovely, but they don't make any sense. The first one's read, sitting there, they could see the whole world spread out until it reached the sky, and whatever there was all, over, all the world over was with them in Galen's lap. So I see a they in the red quote. Um, they seem to be sitting somewhere called Galen's lap. I don't know if it's from a romance novel or what's going on here. Okay, the purple one says, promise you won't forget about me ever, not even when I'm 100. Again, this one could be, uh, there's a you and there's a me in here, so there's obviously a conversation happening. Uh, I don't know who is conversing. I don't know what the relationship is. Uh, it seems like they mean a lot to each other, but it could be a uh, grandmother and a granddaughter. It could be um, two significant others. Uh, it could be somebody who is leaving because they got deployed for a military duty. I, I don't know what's going on, right? It could be somebody on their deathbed. I don't know. Um, I need context. So here is the context for these two quotes. This is where they actually appear. They are in the final chapter in the house at Pooh Corner. So we're talking about Winnie the Pooh here. Um, this is the, the original um, book that A.A. A. Milne wrote. Um, Christopher Robin at this point in the book, the very end of the book, and his imaginary friend Pooh, it, are they sitting in a part of the 100 acre woods called Galeon's Lap. It's kind of like a sacred ground. And these are the last moments that uh, Christopher Robin is going to spend with Pooh until he leaves to uh, enter adulthood. Uh, so it's, a, it's an important moment. So now looking at the two different quotes, they seem to make a little more sense. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is integrating a blended quote. It needs two things, context and a speaker tag. The context is just what's going on when the quote happens. It's what we just did in the last slide, just a kind of a basic setup, right? Who's there? What's going on? The key for the context is that it has to be an incomplete thought in order to be a blended integration. So starting a sentence with an ing verb would be a way to create an, a phrase and not a complete thought. Um, starting with a subordinating conjunction like when or as or those kinds of words. There's a few of them listed here. There's more of them if you want to look them up, but that's just a few that you might use. Or starting with a preposition even could be a, a way to begin a phrase and not a complete sentence. Uh, the speaker tag simply identifies who's talking. You've actually done this uh, in your lives. You've actually done this since probably fourth or fifth grade. You just seem to do it the same way over and over again. And it looks probably like something at the bottom of the page. On page 178, it says, it's not a terribly helpful blended quote because it doesn't give you real, any real context besides what page it's on. And we're not gonna open the book to find the page. 